In this video, I'm going to show you click by click on how you can build a dropshipping store from zero to your first sales. This is not your typical step by step guide. This is a click by click guide. I will go through every single mouse click that is crucial to get your first sales. For this click by click guide, we're going to be using this framework. I'm going to be showing you how to find a winning product, how to build a store, how to get the creatives, and then how to launch TikTok ads. In this video, I'm going to be going through this process very efficiently and quickly, just to not waste your time. If you want to replicate the process, then I recommend you to watch the video in 0.5x speed. If you have any questions, just comment them down below. I answer every single comment. Now with that being said, let's get right into it. So there are many methods on how you can find your winning product. There's the TikTok um, burner account, there's platforms like Zendrop, PP ads whatsoever. You can look on AliExpress, Google Trends, things like that. But actually what I found the most effective is to go on the TikTok Creative Center or any other ad platform where you can find ads that are working right now on the ad platform you want to advertise on. I go through why this uh, method is superior to the other methods in my opinion in how I actually find my winning products video. And um, yeah, so what we're going to do first is go on the TikTok Creative Center, just type that in, in Google, click enter and then click the first link, which will be the first official click of this video starting this journey from zero clicks to whatever amount of clicks I need to, to get my first sale. So yeah, let's get started. So here we're going to go on inspiration, top ads dashboard, click number two, bam. Then remove the country to um, target all countries. Then the objective should be product sales and conversions and then last seven days to get some up-to-date videos that are running well right now. So here on this kind of for you page on the TikTok Creative Center, uh, we have good products for the most part, uh, but these products are um, too saturated because too many people are trying these products because this method is kind of known, but the next step that I'm going to show you in a second isn't that known. But here you'll just find products that a lot of people saw and a lot of people are going to use. Still good, good products to try, but the next step is, in my opinion, um, the superior way to find the products. And that is by searching a keyword. For example, searching, um, let's say, um, hair. Click enter. Enter doesn't count as a mouse click, by the way. So we can look at these products in here. Um, first of all, we can see- that My daughter's hair grew so long, what is in this oil? Hair oil, which is a great product um, that is running really well right now. Um, here we can see this ad has um, 62,000 likes and is in the top 3% of the click-through rates, which is really good. And, and a new hope for those right, suffering right, from hair loss. Also talking about hair oil. So here we can already find um, hair oil videos, a product that is surely running really well. And um, already by looking for the first keyword and how you find the keywords is just by um, brainstorming yourself or um, maybe going on Google Trends or um, just asking ChatGPT for like um, keywords that solve um, pain points of women, for example. So here I'm just gonna click control and um, open that in a new tab. Um, so we have the first product. We want to find three products um, that are running well right now, that have good stats. And then um, we'll go into the next step of evaluating these products and then picking the best product to, to go with. Because when we're looking for these products, we don't want to go for the first product. Also, if it seems promising, we kind of want to look if there is something better. So here, um, we're just going to keep on scrolling. It's in top 4% click through rates, has 1k likes. It's a good up and coming video. 
And yep. here again, hair oil running pretty well. So, yeah, when we think we're, um, we saw like the gist of that keyword, uh, we're just gonna go and search for another keyword, for example, um, skin. And here we can see a product that has already gone crazy and um, that already made like eight figures or even nine figures. Is this and this are the results. This hair removal rub device, but as you can see, it doesn't have that well of a click to rate. It has a nice wow effect, so that's why it's maybe entertaining and has a good amount of likes. But um, I think the click to rate is due to people already seeing this product, too, uh, they saw this product too often. So when we're scrolling down, we don't want to really give attention to videos that look like this. Looking to change your skincare because, this season? Um, we already know it's pretty branded and um, that's like also For sure, it ain't right there. the real brand. We won't find this product on, on AliExpress. So we don't even have to give those videos attention. We really want to find those videos that have AliExpress products that we can um, dropship ourselves. And when going through the videos, we want to look for videos that are performing well, that have a good click to rate rating. For example, this video. Cures Microinfusion is not a dermal roller, so it doesn't drag across the skin. It also has a built-in mechanism to prevent those needles from going beyond. Kind of like a micro needling, needling method. So I've scrolled down and now quite a bit and I think we're done for this keyword now. We can do something like face, for example. We can see some random products sometimes. We're just gonna skip over those here, for example. It has good stats, but it's a branded product. Let's make ice face roller. This ad isn't running that well. Just keep on scrolling. You can see this product multiple times. I'm curious at all about this tool and if it works, keep watching. I literally just got up out of bed. So this is my face, fresh, nothing on it. Um, you can tell it's a little small. Why do some skinny people have a double chin? It's not always cut. This looks like a good product. Red light is trending right now and this seems to have other light modes. So um, it's like a great new mechanism that we can introduce and uh, gets new buyers by telling them, yeah, it also has new light modes and not just the standard only red light night mode that is trending right now. So I'm gonna save that product and uh, maybe even search for that product, like face sculpting. So you, here we can see a creative that's running pretty well. I guess the flowers on your tooth for big apologies. I guess I should have been more conscious how you spoke to me. Cause when we fight, you give me space and I... Um, hello? Look how round my face was. First of all, what the hell? Is this even... This goes in a kind of like rounded face, which is interesting because red lights usually goes into like acne problems and things like that. And this is kind of like a sculpting device similar to, the, to a gua sha but just like with this light technology, great product. Going to save that creative instead of the other one. And yeah, what we can do is just search for red light, for example. Crazy device has been all over my FYP page and I decided to give it a try because it's on sale right now. This is the red light. It's supposed to help with inflammation, which I have. Crazy device. And with the different light modes and different effective effectiveness, good creative running really well. Here we can see a creative from that someone took from um, Jordan Brown. I wouldn't take that because millions of people saw his course. So scrolling down even more. Oil your hair with me. This beautiful. It's a great product. This is like a hair oil device, but to apply it better um oil your hair with me this surely works really well 
So what we should actually do right now is um, find at least three good creatives to each of these products, uh, track all of these products into Shop Hunter, which I'm going to introduce um, later. But um, just because of time's sake of this video, I'm just going to choose one product now, find three creatives to that product uh, and track that one into Shop Hunter. So the product that I like the most is this uh, face sculpting device because it also introduces um, new light methods that aren't known before. And what I'm gonna do is just um, search the keywords of this product, like face sculpting, for example. Now for finding creatives, we can also go on tiktok.com and this is an easier way to find lots of good creatives for a specific product. Here we can see a... Um, I'm so insecure about my double chin and round face. You might need this. Now what we can do is already save their store to track later. The website is looking pretty good. They have another version of this device, but it looks similar. And if that device works, the other device also works for sure. So here, a lot of good creators we could um, use to edit with uh, for the testing phase. And I'm gonna see what kind of landing pages the other creators. So here, this website is looking pretty good. It's exactly the product uh, we saw before. It looks way better in my opinion. And then this this one looks pretty, pretty cheap. This one looks more like professional, nicely rounded. Very good website, a lot of good creatives and good reviews. So what we can do now is go on shophunter.io so shop hunter is a tool that tracks stores and the revenue that they're doing and it's a crucial step in my opinion to your product research because you don't want to go blind into product research not even knowing how much sales these products are doing and if you're on a tight budget and want to save time you want to make sure that you choose products that are actually running well right now actually getting sales right now and we can do that with the help of Shop Hunter. And I can happily say I partnered up with them for this video and you can sign up today using the link in the description. So first we're gonna go on sign up to create an account. We're gonna put in the name, the email address and the password and then click on register. Now that we're in Shop Hunter, we're gonna track the stores that we found. But before we do that, I wanna show you some other cool features that Shop Hunter has. By going on um, top performers and top stores, you can see what's running well right now, what stores are getting the highest sales. Now here, for example, you can see this JM Equipment site is making over a million a day, which is just crazy. And this gives you a kind of idea of what is running well right now in the e-com space. And what we can also do is go on top products by revenue. And here you can find some great products that you can use um, to dropship. Some of them are just like really branded products or high ticket products, which don't fit uh, the dropshipping way we're doing in this video, but it's still a great method to, to use for your product research. So now to track the stores, we're gonna go on My Shop Hunter and My Track Shops. We're gonna add a shop and then we'll just paste in the first shop. And here, as we can see, the shop is doing seven figures, almost seven figures every month. And today they, or in the last 24 hours, they did over 20,000, which is a great indicator that this product is running well. Here we can see it's not only based on this product we want to use, but it's mostly because of this product. It's making about over 15,000 a day, which is just great and a great sign to use this product to, to dropship. Now we can go into the second store and add a shop paste in that URL. Now in the last 24 hours, they did $180 in sales, which isn't great. They did about 10,000 with this product in the last month, which is good. And still a good indicator that this product is running well, not just on 
Um, the other store that is doing almost seven figures a month. Now, if you track a store and you don't see any stats, it's because it has never been tracked before. And since the time and date you track it, um, it will start to track the store. And after like 24 hours, you can already see the daily stats. So now that we have a product that has at least three good creatives, has a certain wow factor and is easy to understand and is working right now, so getting sales right now, we can go to the next step and that is um, designing the high converting product store. So now that we found our winning product, the next step is to build a high converting store. And I've done all this um, already. I've built out the whole store and recorded it and um, put it into one sequence, set it to like 3x speed. So I'm going to be going through this really quickly but also efficiently where you can just go look how the whole process works and when you want to implement it for yourself, you can just put it on like, put the video on like 0.5x speed and um, kind of implement what I'm doing here. So yeah, with that being said, I'm going to play the video and the first step I'm going to do here is to build a separate Chrome profile. Um, I just like to do that because it keeps things very organized to have a separate Chrome profile for every um, dropshipping store product you're doing. And the brand name is Lumineva. You can call your brand name anything. It doesn't really matter. You can also have um, ChatGPT help you find your brand name, but it really doesn't matter. So don't get stuck on that part. Where we're going to build the store is on Shopify.com. The link to it is down below where you can just sign up for a free trial and then one month for one dollar, which is just perfect to start. And I'm just going to sign up with the um, Google profile. And then the first step is, uh, to, is going to be to just um, edit the general store details, uh, the time zone, the currency of the store. You, um, so the country you're going to sell to, set that currency and add the name. And then we're going to set up the payment, save that. I'm going to add Shopify payments and PayPal. You can also add Stripe and things like that. But for this video, I'm going to add Shopify payments. Um, yeah, and add PayPal because it's better for high conversions. So I really recommend you to set that up. And I'm setting up two-step um, authentication after setting up Shopify payments just to be able to even get these payouts because without that, you can't get payouts. So yeah, when that's done, we're going to go to shipping and delivery and uh, set the shipping rates. I'm going to do a free shipping method, the standard shipping, and then a priority shipping for $5, just for that average order value boost. And with that saved, uh, we can go to markets, activate the international market so people out of the US where I'm going to sell to can check out. And then we're gonna add the policy pages. You can add them from the template like I'm doing, but this is not legal advice and you should read through them and edit them um, to your needs. Um, so don't just copy what I'm doing. Here's the shipping policy you can take inspiration from. Um, I just copied that in from another store. Now we're going to add our first app, Track123. It's just an app that allows customers to track their order within your website without any Chinese branding. And it's even free for the first like 100 tracks, I think. So it's kind of a no-brainer to begin with. We're going to activate the dropshipping mode and then we're going to copy the link because now we're going to and go to navigations and edit the footer menu where we can add this track your order what I'm doing right now here and paste the link add that and then add all the policy pages and that's done we can click on save and then go to the main menu where we can delete home and catalog we don't need that and then add track your order now we can go on settings again and we can pick our plan to be able to um, sell on Shopify and not uh, have a password restriction on our site. Just put in your information and when that's purchased, we're going to go to password and remove the password. So now that that's done, we're going to add our domain. I'm going to add my domain here in Lumineva Skin and buy it within Shopify. You could buy it uh, on a, an external um, seller like Namecheap, for example, but I'm just doing it in here for simplicity also if it's a bit more expensive. Now you have to verify your domain if you're buying it within Shopify, so it actually works. And when that's done, we can go add our product, the winning product. I'm going to call it Microsculpt, 
just because it sounds very professional with like the micro and the scope makes sense. The pricing is set um, pretty high in comparison to the competitors, $49.90 for that product. I said I always set the prices very high because I'm going to make a whole bridge builder offer and I want the average order value to be really high on every order so um, we can spend a lot um, per customer so our CPAs can be higher and outbid to competition. And how exactly I build a bridge builder offer, I show in one of my videos called how to build irresistible offers. I definitely recommend you to watch that video because I go through every detail on how you can really build an offer that is like kind of a no brainer to your customer and out competes the competition. And later in this store build, I'm going to show exactly what offer I'm going to use for this product. So yeah, let's move on. Now I'm going to add the description. I just did it with ChatGPT. You can look at the prompt. I told ChatGPT to keep it very short, like two to four sentences per paragraph. And each paragraph I'm going to go in each light and its function, which seems very logical for me for this product. You want to keep it to three to five, like kind of paragraphs, very short for your product, not more, not less. And also go into the emotions um, when creating these descriptions and not only on the features. So yeah, I'm just going to add GIFs from competitors and then a before and after. And this is already looking pretty good in my opinion. For the product pictures, I'm going to be using this template you can find in Imperial Club, my paid community. I just edited all the pictures, kind of um, just used that template, made it very easy for me just to get starting and not be stuck on this part and still have great looking product pictures. And the end result is this. It looks good in my opinion. I have the three colors. This doesn't look that good in my opinion, but it's enough for now. Um, I just showed like what every color does, which is really important. I kind of gave it like its own like kind of wording, like the jawline snatcher and here the skin smooth and the age reverse. So people can kind of understand how it works in just like three words. And here I'm building up some social proof. And then I'm showing you before and after, um, showing how like jawline improved. And this is a really realistic result. You don't want to have someone with wrinkles and then no wrinkles after seven days. That's just unrealistic. And then I'm going to add these two products later in the video to my offer, a free uh, ebook of 10 celebrity anti-aging secrets, which you can directly get, no product cost. And here this product costs like $2 and just boost the average like perceived value uh, to like $20 higher. Now I'm going to add these product pictures in, organize them, and then the product part is uh, pretty much done. The next step is to go to online store and we're going to add the shrine theme. So here I'm going to be using the shrine theme and uploading it. It's a um, Shopify store theme which makes great looking uh, product stores and it's really easy to use and it's just a one-time buy uh, forever and you can use it on uh, multiple stores uh, and you can find the link to the shrine theme down in the description below. Here I'm just adding the theme and then we can get into customizing the store. First I want to change the colors here and I'm just going to add the same color code I used um, for the product pictures. Adding the gradient also to this pinkish white. And when that's saved, we can go to the product section, which is actually the main thing we want to edit because we're going to lead customers to the product page. Here I'm just going to edit the benefits. And as you can see, the store is already looking pretty good, even though it's not edited yet. And now that I've added the benefits, I'm going to add these um, reviews or edit these review um, slider thing. And this is a great thing to have the reviews scattered around the website. I could have also added them to the product pictures, but they're already nicely scattered here um, below the call to action. And I'm going to add them um, below in the website. So here I'm touching up on different points. I'm touching up on acne. I'm touching up on wrinkles. I'm touching up on puffiness and not being like oh this product was great but being like it helped with this and this so being really specific is really important 
in making reviews. And when that's done, we're going to scroll down and get rid of all the unnecessary sections we don't need for this store and just hide them. Now we're going to edit the comparison table here because it's really useful to use in this ca case scenario. We can just top, uh, t um, touch on different points and um, present how we're better than the competition. Now I'm just editing the benefits here, adding micro LED technology, for example, um, even though that's already in the product and the competitors have it. Uh, we're going to emphasize it here and act like the competitors don't have it to gain a um, nice advantage. And then we're going to get rid of the other unnecessary um, templates or sections for this store. And we're going to edit here, just like in the product pictures that I designed, the percentages of um, the results. Now we can go on to the next step, which is editing the testimonials here and showing some before and afters with uh, some nice text um, explaining how the product help for the customer specific use case or problem. Here we can see a nice before and after. I'm going into the wrinkles um, that you can nicely see on the forehead that disappeared. And here, for example, um, I'm going into the acne and in the before and after, the customers can nicely see um, how the acne faded. And I'm also giving a realistic um, a time frame of 21 days and adding some realistic text, acne gone, for example, which um, seems very human. And then for the last one, I'm going to um, add puffy and wrinkled face. And when that's done, we can add uh, the collapsible rows to kind of get into the specific um, details of the product of um, how to use and what's included and things like that. And um, what I'm going to add here too is a 30 day money back guarantee. I discussed it in the bridge builder offer that guarantees are really important to um, make it seem kind of a no brainer to buy because if it doesn't work, then they can just send it back. So now I'm editing the how to use and the, the technology of how it really works. And lastly, I'm going to um, list down what's included. And then I'm going to save that. And store is already looking pretty good. Now we can publish the store and it's live. Now we can add looks as a um, review app. There are many different review apps you can use. I just like to use looks because they look really clean and branded and they have a nice referral system. I'm going to go through, go with the scale option here to be able to edit um, own reviews. I'm going to just take over from the competitors for now. Here we're just enabling um, the app, but just saving and enabling, adding the widget. And after that, adding the rating widget too. Just saving that. And now the rating widget. So customers can nicely see um, how, how many reviews the product has and how much like stars out of five it has. Now we're going to save that. And then we can set up the branding. And when they get an email for a review, the customers and set up the referral system. I'm going to set it pretty high because mostly it's not really been, been used by customers from my experience. So I like to make a very good offer there. And then we can import the reviews. I'm going to import them by using the sp spreadsheet. I'm going to use this template. And then I'm going to add all the reviews that the competitors already have for this product. As you can see here, it took me 174 clicks. And the last thing to do here is um, to add the product handle. So the re reviews are displayed on the right product page. I'm going to do this by going to, to the product, scrolling down and then editing this product handle and copying it. 
Then I'm just going to paste it and add it to all the reviews. As you can see, I added some one star, two star and three stars reviews just to keep it um, believable. And then I'm going to upload here the file. And we're good to go. Now we can go to navigation and add the product to the main menu, which we couldn't do before because we didn't add the product yet. Now we can just add it in and click on save. Now the next step is going to be to add our bridge builder offer and I'm going to do, do this with the app bundle bear and I'm going to show you exactly how I set it up. I'm just going to install the app and then approve the payment after 14 days. Now we've installed it and we can create an offer. We're going to add the product itself for a normal price and then add the ebook and the moisturizer as kind of an extra product for free. And here I'm just adding these products and I'm doing a free gift and selecting that for those two products to really boost that average order value. And then in the design section, we can just change it to our store font and change it to a store color. And this is already looking pretty good. The design of Bundle Bear isn't great, but it serves its purpose. It's just really important that the customers can see that these products are free and that we not just say it somewhere random on the website. Now we can customize the site and add the offer into the uh, product page. Now when adding the offer, we have to enable the app and then click on save. And then we can remove all the other call to actions, quantity selectors, uh, um, because we don't need them anymore. Nice, when that's removed, we can save and we're all done. Now we can look at the mobile view, which is the most important. The store is looking really good in my opinion. Has the guarantee, has all the advantages, before and afters, and the reviews we added with looks. Great, now we're done with the store build. Great, now we're done with the store build and we're going to go to the next part and that is to find our creatives that we're going to use for advertising. So now we're going to go through the process of downloading the ads and cutting up new creatives. And then we're going to go through the process of creating the campaign and launching the ads. So I've already pre-recorded this whole part to just be able to again go through it more efficient. So the first thing we're going to do is just open up the ads. And those are the ads that we found on um, the TikTok Creative Center. And then we're going to go on TikTok and look for ads there for additional ads that we can use uh, for the cutting up process. So I'm just searching face sculpt because that's the keyword I found is the best for this product. And as you can see, there are tons of videos that have a lot of likes and a lot of views that surely work also when running ads. So now I'm just saving all these videos in a new tab and I'll go through this process really quickly. Just looking for videos that are, um, that have a good before and after that have like kind of a wow effect and that can really resonate with the audience. So this, this, this TikTok account has a lot of good videos uh, we could use uh, to cut up into new creatives. Um, just as, as a disclaimer, we don't want to be using other people's videos for the long term. It's just for the short term to really efficiently test the product and um, just start up with running ads and getting the first profits. And then we'll go into the process of um, hiring UGC creators or buying the product and filming, pro uh, filming videos ourselves. And then when we found all our creatives, we're going to go to capcut.com and sign up. It's free to use and it's a really good editing tool. Um, I'm sure you know of it. I'm just going to sign up with the Google uh, account we made in the beginning and uh, create a workspace. Then I'm going to create a new video and now I'm going to go on snaptic.app to be able to download the TikTok videos. I'm just going to copy the link put it into Snaptic, download and download in HD, really important, just watch the ad. I, I cut the ad out. And now for the creative center, we want to inspect, we want to go on the phone 
and then inspect again and copy that link. Um, you can go through it in slow-mo. I go through it in detail on how to do that in my video on how I d download uh, and find um, creatives uh, for TikTok ads. Um, if you want this process more in detail, you can go watch that video. And I'm just saving all the, uh, these ads, uh, naming them so it's um, nicely organized. Again, pasting it and link, just saving that video. Then when that's done, we can upload all these videos to CapCut. And here I'm just um, editing around the hook and the, uh, the last part of the video. Um, I download that. I just try to f make like four creatives. I go through this process really quickly because it's really dependent on what product you have, how you cut up the creatives. I'll maybe make a separate video on how to really make um, good creatives uh, with the creatives you have already online. Um, here I'm just keeping it really simple for the video. I'm not doing any crazy edits, uh, just cutting up the uh, just cutting up the first few seconds uh, or maybe the last few parts, uh, and that's basically it. So when we've downloaded all the videos, we want to go back to Shopify and download the TikTok app. This app just links your store to the ads manager to be able to uh, track data. Just click on install. Then when that's loaded, we're going to go on set up now. We're going to connect our um, ads manager. Then we're going to click on create. Then we're going to click on connect the ads manager and uh, do maximum data sharing um, and click on confirm and then finish setup. That's it. Now when creating the campaign, we want to go into advanced um, create. Then we're going to go for website conversions, edit the campaign name to our product, click on continue. And here we'll um, put in the pixel we just created before by downloading the TikTok app, set optimization event to complete payment, disable all these apps we don't want. I'm going to set it to female 18 plus, and I set it to United States because that's where I'm going to be running the ads. I'm going to set the daily budget to 50 US dollars and I'm going to set it uh, for midnight the next day. And I'm going to do day parting just again, because um, just to be able to allocate the budget we have more efficiently. Set the optimization goal to conversions and then we can go um, upload the creatives. Just click on upload and then you wanna put in all the creatives um, we made. And when that's all loaded, we can add in our text. Keep this text very personal like someone, a human created it, not like 50% off free shipping. Keep it more like human-like. And here I'm just uh, putting in the, the text for all these creatives that kind of match the video. But don't get stuck on that part. It's really not important what the description says. Then I'm going to go to the website and copy the link. Very important, the landing page should be the product page, not the home page. Set that up for all the creators. And then we're just going to preview to just really be sure that everything is working. So after that, we want to create a custom identity. Here you can um, just create like the UGC kind of profile identity, like kind of a human profile picture. But because I have so many different um, persons here in the videos, uh, um, I couldn't bother to find a picture for every every um, of these um, creators. And that's all done. We're going to click on submit, add in our budget, and then add in our payment info and uh, click on publish. And that's it. And that was it. Uh, it wasn't all too complicated, at least in my opinion. Um, now you know how to go from finding the product to publishing um, your campaign. And I'll keep you updated on how this uh, store is going and um, we'll see each other in the next shot. So here's Ruben from the future with the results. I have good and bad news. The bad news is that this product was a complete flop. I got zero sales. Most of my ads got disapproved. I tried running Spark ads, which did the trick, but the stats were just so bad. And how you can read stats correctly and make informed decisions, I'm going to show in the next video. But it was obvious that this product was not a runner right now. And I saw that this product was running a lot already in 2023. So I'm kind of late to the party. And this is just a realistic result because you're not going to get success immediately. Most of the 
the time and if you do then you're kind of lucky so what's important is that you not give up that's what i did i just went to the next product which was this product it's a nipple push-up bra it's kind of a interesting product i agree with you but what works works i ran a buy one get one free offer because that was just best for this product i found i didn't find the corresponding underwear to this product so i just ran the buy one get one free which ran really well i only saw two accounts running this product on the tiktok ads manager i used the same exact tactic as i just showed in the video so these two accounts had good creatives with really good click to rates so i thought I have to try this product now. So that's exactly what I did. I ran three creatives that I saw were running well and had one more creative in my back pocket. And I spent $117 on the ads in like two and a half days. And the videos ran really, really well. So as you can see from the 18th of March to the 20th of March, we've made $636.81, which is just amazing for the ad spend we put in. Now with the Shopify costs, the advertising costs and the product costs, the profit in these two and a half days was $280. Now take that minus the $80 for the first product and our net profit is $200. Now all we would have to do here is just to scale up the ads and we could easily go to thousands a day even 10,000s a day with this product. How I switched out the product was really easy. I just went to products and I added the product and did all the steps to add this product that I showed you before. And that's basically it. This is why the strategy is so good. We can just cycle in products in the store we already made and we can really quickly and efficiently test products. So that was the video. I hope you liked the video. I definitely had a lot of fun making this video. And now you have no excuses to start your own dropshipping store right now after this video. If you have any questions to this process, just comment them down below. I answer every single comment. If you need more resources, help and guidance, I definitely recommend you to join Imperium Club and you can also join the free Discord in the link below. I would strongly appreciate if you would subscribe to this channel right now and leave a like. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.